All right, so I've been having a little bit of problems with my car for the last maybe two months or so. It's just it would show the uh, yellow um, suspension fault error uh, kind of sporadically throughout the day. Maybe it wouldn't show it at all, maybe it would. Um, and especially when I was on extended suspension mode, um, when I pressed it to go down, usually it would error and it would be stuck in the in the extended mode so I couldn't go down and then you can't really go faster than 30 miles an hour without the car without the light changing to red uh, you know it wasn't really a, that big of a deal if you turn your car off and you turn it back on it'll reread the errors and then it'll usually make the light go away and you can lower it before the light comes back on um, although one time when I was driving it uh, the errors were making the suspension try to level itself out and it got to the point where it just dropped all the air out of the suspension system and dropped the car down to the bump stops and then it wouldn't go up from there and it, when that happened it, the car was pretty much undrivable and so I had to uh, pull over and um, uh, turn the car off and turn it back on and then after that it was uh, y I qu you could quickly raise it back up to the normal height but after that, I kind of looked around and I ha and I decided that it was likely one of the um, one of the wheel height sensors was uh, faulty, and so I needed to replace it. It's like eighty dollars. Eh, sometimes you can find one for like sixty, but a good like eighty dollars from uh, if you get an OEM one. But anyway, here's a good way to find out which uh, tire or which wheel set is actually the one that's um, or which sensor is messed up so alright so I'm stopped in a garage um, on the 4x4 info you can see that the front left tire is moving up and down it's even now but then uh, there it goes up down. it's just kinda moving around it really shouldn't be moving at all the car is not moving um, the other tires are all okay if you look at the video and this is just one way to figure out that the front left height sensor is messed up, really.